And welcome back, folks. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Nothing to report. Now I'm going to assign you to. Where can I assign you? Okay, good. That's one assigned. Okay, that guy's actually doing something, so I can't do much there. I can't assign her. So where is this other minute man? Sam being thick folks. I honestly folks cannot see. Where this other minute man is. Because that's Kate. We know Kate, obviously. So we still need springs and oil, and I don't think we're gonna find those in here. the other one. Hey you. You're about to get assigned. It's 5 a.m. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Okay, so I've assigned a few of those. I don't think I've assigned all of them. Hi. Ah, looks like you've got everything we need. Oh, we have, of course. Ah, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. Now, here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Just toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. So wait, are we just gonna... Okay, this building? Thing is, I'm not really sure how to throw grenades. I've never actually used it. How do I actually throw a grenade, pray tell? Oh, okay. Well, that's quite cool. So I get it, folks. We can then... Oh, I see. You got it, Ronnie. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, 
That is so awesome. God, it's so cool to see him firing as well. God, look at this bad. My God. Okay, I don't know how these are firing when there's no staff on them. Is that one even firing? Okay, so we've worked out, folks, you don't actually have to have staff on them. I hope you're finding the broadcasts useful. I am, thank you. Let's trade some things. Hey, General. That looked good from here. You've now got artillery support. Use that is awesome. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I... Would I really need your help? What's wrong, Kate? Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now. Which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Believe me, I want your help. But I'm scared. I'm scared that you'll hear the truth and that I'll lose you as a friend. God, I'm making a hell of a mess of this. I didn't think it would be so tough. It's all right, Kate. You'll never lose me as a friend, no matter what you say. You'll never lose me as a friend, no matter what you say. Damn you for being so nice to me. I started this, so I suppose I need to finish it. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Hmm. We've actually got some addictol. Can your psycho addiction be cured? Normally a wasteland doc could handle it, but I've been using the stuff so damn long they can't help me anymore. There's only one other way I know, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here, a place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment, stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there, some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. Kate, we are all over it. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready. Take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Kate, you have got it. I'm going to help you. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to start equipping. Um. Now I'm going to be walking around with this extra charisma because I'm, I'm going to get a feeling that we're going to be doing a lot more... Well, need to do, sorry, a lot more charisma checks. I can see that coming. Okay, so where do we need to go for benign intervention? Oh, wow, we've got a fast travel location. It's miles away, though. 
We're gonna go sort out good old Kate, because Kate is awesome. I think she's a brilliant character. Oh, we've got a copyright claim. And Fallout. Oh, bloody hell. Oh well, can't be helped. Get a lot of claims on the old YouTubes. Now, come on, game. I'm kind of excited about trying to get Kate cured, because we've been traveling with her for quite some time now. And she's probably about as effective as dog meat. Get my bearings. So I'm actually going south. Never eat shredded wheat. So we need to be going southeast. South. That direction. So yeah, I'm going to keep on this charisma stuff because I, I've just got a feeling that we're going to need, potentially anyway, that we might need to pass some more checks. So I'm going to have as much charisma as I can. rads in this area. That's quite a lot of radage. I don't think that's a word. Let's have a quick look over at this little cabin, folks. Kate's gone, but she'll probably join us again in a little while. Curlick. That's it. Oh, a clean black suit. So we really are managing to pick up a good amount now of charisma inducing items. And the fact that I've got six charisma with items is real. Ah, now, hub flower. That was useful, but I can't remember why. It was for something to do with crafting. Random amount of rads in this area. Could be a rad storm incoming. Is that hub? That looks like hub flower. Yep, I will always take hub flower. This area appears to have actually taken more damage than the other places. Hey, the music's picking up, or the sounds, and oh, something's gonna happen. That scared me then, because that started moving on its own. Edge of the glowing sea. Oh, we're nearly there, folks. We have nearly made it. And I've actually got my Burton gun. And that's replaced my old melee weapon. Well, there it is. Vault 95. Let's head inside and find a clean room. That's where we can get this crap out of me body. Let's do it, Kate. I want to be quick saving a lot here because 
I might have to pass some uh, speech checks. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Oh, bums. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to equip armor for this. I can't do it without it. Okay, ladies. One down. Is it just me? Or is this too easy? The one down. Whoa, I was not ready for you, sir. Bullshit. Okay, that was some bullshit. I just love Kate. Get some. Found you again. Damn it. Whoa. Come on. Assault truck. Wanna stop running away, scumbag? Dirty assault trons. And also there's a mole there's also a mole rat around there somewhere. Oh, hello! Oh, okay, multiple rad scorpions. Nice. This area got very intense, folks. Did not expect to get all this kind of thrown at us then. It's going to sneak up nicely, but... Where the hell have they gone? Maybe we should rest here. The place is built like a fortress. Well, we could do that, Kate, but... It's probably going to be better to go in and try and get you cured, really, love. Engaging hostile. Engage me all you want, dude. You ain't going to survive it. I can't actually see where the entrance to the vault is. Is that me being stupid? Take him out. Oh, it's going to be down below. Yep, hello. I see ya. Random mannequin is plastic as fuzz there. All mannequins. Come on, Kate. Let's get you cured. Now, again, for a big area like this, I think I can probably get away with my... my charisma stuff. Come on, Kate. Let's go try and get you cured if you don't keep running into the side like that. And she's going to appear. And there you go. After me, I do look pretty cool in this gear. 